All right, so one of the things I actually get a lot of questions about, which if you're new to shooting and you don't really know, it is totally fine. And that's how come when I'm shooting targets at distance in my scope, I'm holding the crosshairs right on the target, not having to hold over. So what you'll find in a lot of these long range tactical style scopes is these exposed turret knobs right here on the top. So right now I am running a loopholed Mark V rifle scope. And you can see this exposed turret on the top. So this one has a zero stop lock. So I push that down and now I can dial my zero and adjust my zero to distance. So like I mentioned, it has a zero stop, so you can go back and it will lock in your zero position. So that's good because when you're shooting far, sometimes you might go more than the full rotation and not be sure exactly what you're dialed to. You just go all the way back, turn it to zero, and it will lock in place. Now let's kind of get in the scope, take a look at what that looks like on a target, and kind of go over a little bit of the differences. Okay, so right now my gun is resting on the 500 yard target. So my rifle right now is set at a zero of 100 yards. So for this distance, um, my drop for this bolt that I'm shooting is gonna be seven MOA, which roughly translates to about 35 inches at 500 yards. So the scope I'm using right now, each of those little hash marks on the reticle is one MOA. Like I said, so I've gotta come down and get seven MOA of drop at 500 yards for this rifle. So let's come and position it. We're gonna count down seven. And now I've got that seven MOA mark right in the middle of the target. But let's come and adjust the turret and we're gonna dial that distance and see what happens to the reticle. So right there we've got it on seven, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna dial my rifle scope to seven. So I'm not moving the rifle, but you can see what happens is the way those turrets work is it will move your reticle down to change your zero. So I can either use seven MOA on my rifle scope turret, or I can count seven MOA in the reticle. So I like to dial for long range shots because you can see when you get down to here, if you're having to hold off of the target, and your wind is off, so let's say I hit four MOA of wind to the left. I would see a splash roughly here, but then I'd come over to make my correction, I'd come off a target again, and right there, I don't have a good indicator of where my wind is gonna be. So if I'm dialed, I hold right on center, I see a wind splash at four MOA to the left. I can come over four MOA, hold that center of target, and I'm right where I need to be. So after the target, come back and dial to zero. So let's take a couple shots at that target. Just kind of show you that it is the same thing. They do both end up in the same place. Okay, so right now I have redialed my rifle back to zero, meaning that I am sighted in for 100 yards. So this 500 yard target, I'm gonna have to hold over seven MOA. And we've got a little bit of wind. So I'm gonna have to count for that by probably just holding to the right edge of target. Man, not a ton of wind, so we'll hold about right there. So my crosshairs are not on the target. I'm holding seven MOA to the center, so we're gonna count up. So it's one, two, three, four, five is the big wide line, six and seven. Impact. So you can see the center of my reticle is nowhere near the target, but still an impact. Now let's do the same thing. We are gonna come and we are gonna dial seven, right in the center of the plate. Now let's come and hold the center of the plate, right edge. Impact. Two different methods of doing it, same result. But for that one, if I was gonna come over and hold wind, let's say it was a really gusty day and I had to come off and hold five MOA, if I was holding here, I'd have to kinda come and guess off in the space. If 
versus if I was holding on, I could put the mark right on. So now a lot of reticles do have what's called a Christmas tree style. So not only do they have the vertical orientations, but they've also got windage dots um, down below your main reticle line to help you call wind um, if you are doing holdover. Personally, I don't like those. They get kind of busy. They obscure the sight picture. They kind of get in the way. Some people like them. It's a very valid way to do it. Um, I prefer to dial. It really doesn't matter. It just kind of comes down to personal preference. I don't like having to count my marks each time and get back on target. I'd like to just put it right in the center. Know I'm good to go and shoot. 